Did you know there's one place on Earth where planes simply won't go? Pull up any flight tracking app right now. You'll see thousands of aircraft crossing oceans, deserts, even the North Pole. But look at Antarctica. Completely empty. Not a single commercial flight. Why? Because it's one of the most dangerous places to fly. First, there's nowhere to land if something goes wrong. International aviation rules require planes to stay within 180 minutes of an emergency airport. It's called ETOPS certification. Antarctica has a few research station runways, but none equipped for a Boeing 777 full of passengers. If your engine fails over the Southern Ocean, the nearest real airport is four hours away, and you don't have four hours. Second, the cold is lethal. At cruising altitude, temperatures plunge to minus 80 degrees Celsius. Jet fuel can start to gel. Hydraulic systems freeze. Even specialized polar aircraft need constant monitoring to avoid catastrophic failure. But here's the part that makes it truly impossible. Your compass stops working. Near the magnetic poles, navigation instruments spin uselessly. Magnetic field lines converge vertically, so there's no north to point to. Modern GPS helps, but if those systems fail, pilots are flying blind over a frozen wasteland. And if you crash? Rescue could take days. The nearest hospital might be 2,000 miles away. In those conditions, exposure kills in minutes, not hours. So planes don't avoid Antarctica because it's restricted. They avoid it because it's one of the last places on Earth where modern technology can't guarantee survival. Next time you track a flight, look at the bottom of the map. That empty space isn't a glitch. It's a warning.